Mr. Guthrie. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of H.R. 497, uh, uh, introduced by my good friend from South Carolina, Mr. Duncan. I, I strongly support this legislation, which would immediately repeal the Biden administration's vaccine mandate for all health care workers working in Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, regulated facilities. CMS officials decided in November 2021 to tell nurses, doctors, chefs, physical therapists, and anyone else working in the facility that sees Medicare and Medicaid patients they needed to be vaccinated against COVID-19 or lose their job. This unprecedented one-size-fits-all mandate came at a time in which healthcare workforce shortages are still challenging healthcare providers all over. This is the only such vaccine mandate in effect by CMS, the only vaccine mandate in effect by CMS. The overreaching decision to require affected facilities to be 100% compliant or risk significant civil monetary penalties, losing payment on new patients, or even the ability to bill Medicare and Medicaid at all. More consequently, this misguided policy was issued at a time in which the United States is facing perhaps the worst healthcare workforce shortages in history. In, in the long-term care industry alone, there are two, 20, 210,000 fewer jobs now than at the beginning of the pandemic in March 2020. We have all read about and heard directly from constituents about the impact of this policy and it, what it had in someone's employment status. The forced choice between getting the jab or losing your job has undoubtedly contributed to an already depleted healthcare workforce nationally and will continue to threaten patient access to high quality care. Mr. Speaker, I oppose this mandate and I encourage my colleagues to support this legislation and I yield back to my friend from Indiana. Reserve. 